Hey, Atomic Pixel. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Sarah Langtree of Interiors by Sarah Langtree, and this is a Silverleaf model home built by Marquee Developments. Why don't you come on in and let's take a tour. So when I get a project like this, a new build, I like to start by looking at the plans and the architectural details in the home, and then um, I draw my inspiration for that. So in this home, there's a lot of really unique architectural details with the windows. They're very linear. Um, they're very modern and clean line. They have black um, on the outside and the inside. So I wanted this home to also have a very warm welcoming feel. So to play off the high contrast with the black and the white and the modern lines, I wanted to bring in warm, natural elements into the home. So for instance, we put in this beautiful uh, white oak flooring, which adds a lot of warmth and plays really nice with the black and the white contrast. So we also took inspiration from the linear lines of the windows and did this really neat stairway feature with these custom spindles in the black as well. And then if you look up, there's this gorgeous foyer light that greets you when you come in. So in this room, I did this really nice wallpaper. It's in black, so again, it gives you that modern feel but it has a great texture to it, so it will bring in that natural element. And then if you look up, there's this amazing ceiling detail, um, which we had, it, we almost wanted to look like it was floating in the room. On the opposite side of the den is the dining room. And in here, I did another feature wall with some really neat architectural wall paneling that mimics the linear lines of the windows as well. And then we paired it off with this awesome LED modern fixture from Kishler. Just off of the hallway is a powder room and I love designing powder rooms because you can have a lot of fun with them. So in this room I still wanted to do something bold and dramatic but soft at the same time. So I did this really neat handmade textured wall tile in a dark color so you get your drama but it still feels soft and warm paired with warm woods and these beautiful brass faucets. One room I love in this home is this great room. It has big soaring ceilings and a beautiful fireplace focal point. Again, I bought in the drama with the high contrast with the black walls and the white fireplace and then brought the warmth in with the floating um, shelving as well as the um, built-ins here, which are all in the white oak. And if you check out this fireplace a little bit closer, it has a really unique faux finish to it that mimics limestone. So again, I'm trying to bring in some natural textures to soften the space a little bit. Right next to the fireplace is this built-in bar area. And I did that one really modern and all black, just so it kind of disappears into its own little space there and doesn't compete with the focal point of the fireplace. One unique feature about this home is it has an integrated sound system so you can play music throughout the home. On the other side of the great room here is the kitchen and it's an absolute stunner. It's a chef's dream. It has not one but two islands. And I love this first island it has this beautiful waterfall detail. And to spice it up a little bit, instead of doing a traditional waterfall, we inlaid it with some wood to add a little bit of detail to it. So to keep the balance, I chose a mix of the white and black that you see throughout the home, as well as incorporating the warm white oak that you see throughout as well. So one island has the black top with the white that balances off really nice with the waterfall edge. And then the perimeter of the kitchen is this really nice modern slab off white. And then the real stunner is this custom hood done in the black as well. We also brought in some more white oak in the floating shelves to tie in that oak element. And then on the other side is a huge, almost floor to ceiling pantry that is in white oak lined with black. That would be beautiful with all of the white dishes on the inside. Okay, we're on the second floor. Up here, we added some architectural interest by painting all the interior doors black and also adding these really cool art niches painted black so the art really pops in front of them. 
why don't we go check out the master suite? Okay, in the master suite, I wanted to bring some of that organic texture upstairs as well, so I chose this wallpaper to do a feature wall that has a really neat sort of uh, watery vibe to it that brings in that organic texture and softens all of the dark hard lines in this room. Um, I also added these really cool pendant lights from the ceiling, something a little bit different than just doing regular nightstand uh, bedside table lights. There's a really unique architectural detail in this room as well, this trade ceiling with really nice crown molding, and we painted the inset dark just to add some visual interest. But one of the real showstoppers in this ensuite is the actual bathroom. One of the most unique features to this home is this waterfall feature wall. We wanted to put this in here because it creates a really neat, organic, relaxing um, feature in this bathroom. Can you imagine taking a nice bath, get some music going, the waterfall going? This unique modern vanity was a great collaboration with Cardinal Kitchens in London. And I love how we took the floating nature of it and then added this piece in the middle as a makeup desk and it still looks like it's floating, but it's also integrated in the rest of the cabinets. And there's these really cool hidden drawers in here. So everything stays really sleek and modern. Um, and then we added also a floor to ceiling mirror. So you get the nice reflection of this beautiful stone waterfall on either side of the bathroom. And then the lights underneath just really accentuate that vanity and make it look like it's floating and really luxurious. For the shower, I chose a river rock for the shower base just to bring in some of that natural texture and it balances the shiny marble really nicely. And then if we look inside here, there's some really cool architectural details with the niches as well. Barn doors are really popular right now, so we, this was a perfect place to incorporate one. We did more of a modern looking barn door, but right behind this is where you would find the second floor laundry room. This house has four bedrooms, each having their own bath. This is a cute little bedroom, which is part of this Jack and Jill bath that connects to the, second, the third bedroom up here. It has a really neat little window seat. Um, but the bathroom is really cool, so let's walk through. My inspiration for this bathroom was to bring up some of this warm wood elements um, with this nice warm white oak, similar to what we have downstairs, and then pair it with more of the sleek modern dark tile. And again, bringing in more of a bit of a natural texture with this unique countertop from Handstone. One thing I love about this vanity too is these custom notched drawers. It keeps the lines nice and sleek and modern, but adds functionality at the same time. One really unique feature about this shower is this amazing rain shower head from Delta Faucets. Not only is it functional, but it looks just like a piece of artwork. The fourth bedroom in this house is a perfect size for a nursery or a small extra bedroom, and it also has its own ensuite bath. Let's go look at that. In here, I chose to keep the vanity a really soft gray and it pairs beautifully with this handstone countertop which also incorporates some of the natural elements that we were looking for. Um, to change things up, we did a vessel sink with the matte black faucet but then did this really great detail of a super high backsplash and a nice um, black edged mirror here. With, and then again, two hanging pendants, something a little bit different than your standard vanity. Uh, light fixture. For the shower in here we have more of a traditional tub with the tiled walls and we did a herringbone pattern but instead of turning it on a 45 like a lot of people do we did it on this 90 degree pattern which is something a little bit different and unexpected. Thanks for stopping by Atomic Pixel. See you next time. This Jack and Jill bathroom also connects to the third bedroom in this space. 
which is a really great third bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really <laughs> clever. 